Hi, I'm Mike from Hackaday at the Barrier Maker Fair, and I'm here with one of our favorite interviewees uh, at the event. This is Eric, and he's really getting to be pretty famous for the Monster 6502. How's it going, Eric? It's going great. And so we're really excited to see what you've done uh, new with this amazing device. Can you just kind of tell us a little bit about what Monster 6502 is first? So Monster 6502 is a complete microprocessor chip that's blown up to a human scale. So it's made out of individual transistors that you can see, instead of being a very, very tiny microscopic chip. Excellent. So what do you have new uh, with the system this year? Uh, so what we're demonstrating this year is a fully functional processor that's actually running lots of different software. One of the brand new things that we've got is a little interface module that plugs in. It's basically a fully fledged computer that uses the Monster 6502 as its processor. And so we can run programs and play games and do all kinds of fun stuff like that. We call it the MIM-1, which is the uh, Monster Interface Module. This is what the uh, Monster Interface Module looks like, the MIM-1. And it's got a keypad on here and an LED interface. And it's designed to mimic the microprocessor trainers that were very popular in the 1970s and 80s. And uh, so there's a lot of different functions on here. Uh, first, what I'll do is I'll speed things up to the uh, maximum. And here you can see that the address and data display has uh, gotten very blurry. Uh, we can also reset it. And so if I hit this button here, it'll reset the program that it's currently running. I can also stop, uh, single step. I can look at registers. And so we can look at a couple of different registers here, stack pointer and stuff like that. I can also go and view data that's in there. So I can look at address zero, for example, and see what data it contains. And I can even change it to something else like this. And uh, then I can even continue running with that new data. Uh, other functions, I can set breakpoints. So I can put in an address of some code maybe, something like this, and then hit set breakpoint. And then when I run the program, it will actually stop at that point. And then I can uh, look at registers, see the processor state, and use that for debugging. Uh, it's quite a useful tool. And uh, for storing data uh, for, uh, from a host PC, I've also implemented a uh, Y modem protocol and so using the save and load buttons, you can actually use that to uh, load and store your data for whatever program you're working on. And so Eric, what game are you playing here? Uh, this game is called Mars Templar, and it's a game that I wrote specifically for this demo. Uh, turns out my younger brother is a pixel artist, and he was very, very happy to put together a bunch of artwork for me. And uh, so it's just kind of a generic little RPG-style game that's uh, quite simple because I didn't have a lot of time to write it. And there's also not a lot of space in a 6502-based system. But still, it's entertaining, and it shows off the capabilities of the machine. Oh, this is so cool. I love it that you made your own game for that. Well, this has been a really amazing uh, demonstration. Thanks so much for showing it off to us this year. Thanks for coming by.